Hi folks, Reverend Crystal Cox here, and I'm going to read to you a little bit out of Jesus and the Lost Goddess, The Secret Teachings of the Original Christians. And on page 121, this is just a small one, it's the Pneumatic Initiation. Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection represent the pneumatic initiation and the realization of Gnosis. For those able to read the symbolic language when Jesus arrives at Jerusalem, he is shown as having completed the psychic initiation. He triumphantly rides a donkey while crowds of admirers hail him as their king. The donkey was a familiar image in the pagan mysteries representing the lower animal self. Riding the donkey symbolizes that Jesus, the archetypical... <laughs> the archetypal initiate, has fulfilled the goal of the psychic stage of initiation by mastering his own lower nature. He has been anointed as the King Christ by Mary Magdalene and is now lauded as King of the Jews. But the goal of the Gnostic path is not to make the Edolan the king of this world, but to see through the illusion of the separate self and discover our essential nature as the mystery of God. So Jesus is not the king of the Jews. This title will be affixed over his dying body on the cross because it, because it is the king of Jews who must die for Jesus to be reborn as the Christ, the king of the cosmos. Jesus' mission starts in Galilee and ends in Jerusalem. The name Galilee means a rolling wheel. According to ironies for the Christian Gnostics, Jerusalem is a code word for the mother. Mytholo mythologically, therefore, Jesus, the archetypal initiate, begins his journey on the wheel of suffering. Through the process of initiation, he climbs the mythical ladder to the mother goddess and the Ogdoid at the mouth of the cave of the cosmos. He is now ready to break out from the confinement in the cave through pneumatic realization that in truth he was never imprisoned. And so this is, I'm not going to read to you more on this today. The next part is the death of the Eidolon. That's E-I-D-O-L-O-N. Again, this book is Jesus and the Lost Goddess. And, you know, the cave not being an actual cave where he was he died and then he was resurrected, but like like he was reborn. You know, like today they're like reborn Christians. You have had a former way of life and now you've got rid of your lower self, your lower the, the things that you were doing before and you're changing into a new way of life and you're kind of reborn and that's kind of what this symbolizes. He's into the cave of the cosmos. Anyway, there's a lot of interesting information in this book and I will be reading more to you later. Again, it's Jesus and the Lost Goddess, and it's the secret teachings of the original Christians. Goddess bless you all.